welcome back to my channel I'm Dole Bat and today I'm going to be talking about my piercings and my tattoos so if you've been previously subscribed to my channel you'll see that I did this quite a few years ago but this is going to be an updated version and a quicker version it's not going to be my entire life story on it blah, blah, blah. nobody wants that nobody wants that all they just want to know how painful it is should they get it where to get it etc so I'm going to be rating my piercings and tattoos I'm not going to show all of them I'm just going to show a few of them and just describe the other ones because there's no point in just getting all my legs and my arms out. I mean, this is only my second day, probably on YouTube, I can't be doing that straight away. Anyway, so my first ever piercing was my lip. First ever, as in like first piercings. I already had my ears pierced when I was a lot younger and I don't remember them at all, but now they are stretched. So, stretching, whole different story to piercing. I'll go on to another topic with that in a different video if anybody wants to learn about it but anyway my lip piercing was the first piercing I ever got on my face and I would say rating from a 1 being absolutely didn't feel it at all and 10 being I could have died from pain 1 complete 1 even though I did it myself when I was 15 with a it was a professional piercing kit, I, gi I give you that, but I do not recommend you try this at home. Please go to a professional piercer. They will tell you, no, don't do it at home. But I got that done, loved it, I've had it for years, so there you go. My next piercing that I got, I'm not doing it in any particular order, but I'm kind of going in an order here anyway, was my smiley piercing. If those of you don't know what a smiley piercing is, it's under my lip. So there you go. It's literally that tiny piece of skin that's above your lip. One did not feel it. It is the thinnest piece of skin you can think of. <laughs> not a breath. The only thing I would say with that one was it was very awkward to pierce. That was one I pierced myself again. But just the, the awkwardness of it. I should have gone to a professional piercer. Really should have done that again. Like I said, not a professional, but I'm a pretty good piercer. I'll give you that. Do it right at home. One of my personal favourite piercings is my tongue. So I, instead of having just one tongue bar, I have two. I believe they're called snake eyes. So... So they go straight through my tongue. And they, I wouldn't say they were painful, they were un uncomfortable to get pierced. And that's mainly because I was wearing a white top. And because she held out my tongue for so long, I was just dribbling. And I mean dribbling. So if you're ever going to go get your tongue pierced, please don't wear a white top. And I mean it. Because I had to go back to college and it didn't look good at all. No, no, no. <laughs> So that was my second one. Um, I'd say that was um, about a two or a three, just for the uncomfortableness of the piercing because the piercer was actually recommending that I get one done now and then a few weeks later get the other done. But I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I don't want to be walking around with a tongue bar that looks lopsided because it's on one side. I was like, just do it, just do it. Only thing I'd say with this one, with the healing especially, is your tongue swells like a mm-hmm and I was working at Flamingo Land at the time and trying to serve people chips sounding a bit funny didn't really work out very well and I mean eating wise I was on super noodles for weeks uncomfortable that's the only reason I would rate it a two or a three besides the pain I have quite a high pain tolerance now the pain rating is just my personal pain rating it may be different for other people, so I do not just think that, oh, it's only a two or three, go get it done and be like, why would you say that? It's my personal, <laughs> my personal pain rating, okay? Um, my nose, I've got, I haven't even got the piercing in, alright. I do have a nose stud, it's not here. So, my nose, I would say this is a two, and that's uncomfortableness as well because of the fact that my eyes watered and nobody told me your eyes watered I mean I should have thought but I was about 15 eyes watered and I was wearing the biggest Marilyn Manson eyeliner wing you could think of 
I come out of that shop looking like one of the Blackville brides, I swear down. Just flashback, isn't it? Flashback. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, definitely like the two for my nose. Still, again, preference. But I'd say with the helium with this one, because it is not just a straight bar, it was like a hook. I just remember it taking me ages and I mean it took me about an hour to get it out and I don't know if it's just because I'm full blown div but it took me absolutely ages to get this bar out to switch it late, a weeks later and I just think it was because of the hook and I just didn't know the contraption that was in my face <laughs> what is this um my anti eyebrow piercing so some people might not have seen this it's basically an eyebrow piercing on your face so this tiny little thing here, straight eyebrow piercing, straight free face. This pierced myself again. I've pierced it twice now because the first time was crooked, so I went and gone and did it again. There is no scar from when I pierced it the first time. This one, one, did not feel it at all. I don't know if that is purely for the fact that there is no nerves in my face, or I'm just like, you know, hard computer. <laughs> I don't know. No, but that was definitely a one. Didn't feel it whatsoever. I got top of my ear done. And I mean, this is just straight down. It's not like a, it's not like a second lobe or anything like that. It's just straight down. Um, personal preference again. Well, personal experience. This one, I don't know why, but for some reason I can get anything pierced, but my ears make me feel so sick. And I think it is because of the pop it makes. And if anyone has got their ears pierced and has got it at the top, they will know exactly what I'm talking about. And I mean, it makes, like, it's like a crunch. And it, no, 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 no. So that's why I've got, like, quite a lot of piercings, but not a lot on my ears. <laughs> Flashbacks. Um, another piercing would be my Medusa. So you can probably see this one from there, but I'm going to go ahead and zoom in anywhere. I got this pierced recently. Now this one, when I tell you it was actually really painful, to be quite honest with you, of, of any piercing I've ever got, that was the most pier painful piercing. And when I actually talked to the piercer later on, a few weeks ago, she turned around and said, it's because it is a bigger needle. Oh, okay. Ow. No wonder it hurt. But years ago when i was a kid i got bit by a dog right on my face right basically there i still have scars on a little bit but just getting that pierced it reminded me of getting all these numbing needles in my face so as soon as she went through with that oh i did have caught right now i didn't mean to but that was the most painful piercing i've ever gotten i have my bridge pierced so this again is like an eyebrow bar it is it is Oh, definitely a one. It was not painful whatsoever. It was just uncomfortable healing, I would say. Because I don't know if it is just them type of piercings or the bars or something. But it um, it gets crusty and it just, oh, because it's on your face, it's, oh, it's noticeable. So you just don't want to go out for ages until it's healed. And I made the oh, horrible mistake of accidentally knocking it. And I could have died when I knocked it because I looked in the mirror and it looked like my skin was basically falling off. I was like, oh my God, I've ripped it out. I've ripped it out. But this would have been the first piercing I've ever ripped out. So it started making me freak out. Looked at it and it was only the tiniest little this piece of skin. So I managed to leave it alone, clean it up, heal it. It's fine now, believe me. Completely fine panicked the hell out of me but I would say this one was probably a two but an extra one for the healing process what other piercings have I got my nipple I have my nipple pierced and I've only got the one done because I haven't managed to go to get the other one done just yet but that I did myself just pure boredom you know with the professional piercing kit I bought <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if I am just really, really strong 
or I have no nerves or whatsoever, but I would say this was a three, purely for the fact of the clamp. Now, when I say the clamp hurts more than the piercing, it does. And I mean, ask anybody that has had a nipple piercing, especially with a clamp, the clamp hurts more. I tell you now, it hurts more. I don't, it's just plastic, cold and uncomfortable. And then because you have to squeeze it so much, it hurts a lot. So, are they all my piercings? I'm just... I forget sometimes, I really do. Something I have had pierced is I had my wrist pierced years ago, but it rejected. Rejected big style. So I wouldn't recommend getting your wrist pierced unless you've got a professional, ask them advice on the healing process, etc. Right. I think that may be all of my piercings. Possibly all of my piercings. I'm gonna just look around. I'm gonna just yeah. I used to have my clip pierced, and this was a while ago. I haven't managed to put, or well, I haven't tried to put a bar in it in quite a while. So this, don't freak out. I did when I was about sixteen myself. Don't ask me how. I'm pretty sure you can just imagine. Obviously I used numbing cream on this thing because I was like, I am not doing that without numbing cream. Mm. Anyway, so that was with numbing cream. So obviously did not feel that at all. Healing process, didn't feel it at all. Was absolutely fine. I feel like my incense is going in front of the camera. I do apologise. Anyway enough topic about what that area most of my piercings have been healed most of my piercings have healed very very well the only piercing i'd say i struggled with was my tongue piercing and my bridge piercing everything else has healed absolutely fine within a few weeks a few days even most of them have been less painful oh that's another piercing i have my belly button pierced i do I, I forgot that because of the fact that I got it pierced a few weeks ago. So this is a fairly new piercing. Obviously everybody knows what a belly piercing looks like so there's no point in getting out. Anyway, that I put that off for absolute years because I had a traumatic experience with going with my sister when she got hers pierced. I held her hand. She squeezed it. I panicked because she screamed. I turned around and I had butted a wall. I was really young so it knocked me clean out. I was on the floor, woke up and then it's just my sister crying. Like I've got it done. I'm like, oh, can we go home then please? So that's why I put it off for years because it traumatised me of my sister getting her belly button pierced. I went to get it done and I was just like, oh. Oh, okay. Was that it? Was absolutely fine. Definitely say it's a two. Healing process, three, four-ish. Because, oh, it was just, mm. healing process, I hate the healing process for this, it really is a ball ache, and anybody who has a belly bone piercing will understand, it just, it's annoying to clean, you knock it on trousers quite a lot, you knock it just leaning on something, the first few days, it, it's, it's, you can't stretch, because as soon as you stretch, you, it feels like your belly is tearing apart. That's the only thing I would fault that for. It would probably go to a four with that because that was awful. But there are my piercings. So my tattoos. I'm just going to say the least painful and the most painful. Because this video is probably going to get quite long. If anybody wants to see all my piercings. All my tattoos even. Not my piercings. Jesus. <sighs> if anyone wants to see all my tattoos. I will post pictures of them on my Instagram story. Or I will do a separate video of just me showing all my tattoos. So my most, I'll do a least painful first. My least painful pi why do I keep saying my piercing? Tattoo, do, is probably behind my ear. So I have this little spider behind my ear. I have no idea if you'll be able to see it or not, like, probably not, like, at all. Um, so, I will try. That's probably the least painful tattoo I've ever received. And I don't know if it is because 
it's behind my ear and it's out the way or if it's just there's there's not much nerves or something there but I thought when I went to the tattooist he was like you're gonna feel this and I was just like really really I'm, I'm gonna feel this am I when 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 am I gonna feel this <laughs> completely fine so there and wrists wrists and behind your ear and probably your ankles are the least most painful places to get pierced I would say the most painful would say your fingers and your hand so I have this tattoo on my hand and the fingers and I'd say a little bit of the knuckles but mainly your fingertips oh my god I'd say it was a nine I mean the tattoo eyes probably didn't notice or something but I, oh I was in pain I was in pain so I will tag all the tattoo eyes and the piercing well, maybe not the piercings, but I'll tag the tattoo artist that does most of my tattoos under the comments below or in my bio, description, whatever, Instagram. I'm pretty sure I've tagged them on Instagram before on photos. But most painful, I, oh. Mm. I'd rather get 10 piercings over than get my hand tattooed again. And then when I went to go get my neck done, I was so scared. I thought, this one is going to really hurt. But then I just sat there and thought, well I got my neck done, I got my hand done, and I think after that I can do pretty much anything, <laughs> I can do anything, because that really really hurt, neck, oh it's so funny, the guy turned around to me and said, literally above my neck, about to go into it, turned around and said, oh by the way, it's supposed to make, it's supposed to feel like your neck's being slipped. But you goth girls love that anyway, don't you? I was like, um, yeah? I was like, yeah? <laughs> okay. Was absolutely fine. It was probably the, probably one of the quickest tattoos I've ever got. It was really fast and really easy. I'd say the only part that really, really hurt was the edges. But over the actual jugular, it felt really nice. The only thing that was uncomfortable about it was how I was laid. I had to lie, and I mean, right, head back, over leaning something. And every time he spoke to me, I felt awkward because I didn't want to speak or even swallow because I felt like I'm going to knock the tattoo. Um, but every time he spoke to me, I just responded like, ah, yeah, that's really good. I sounded like a robot, it was great. So, and then I wanted to giggle, so I was like, <laughs> stop, 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 stop. It was great. I'm not going to show all the tattoos, but I do have a few stick and pokes on this other hand that I did myself, but I want a uh, proper tattooist to go over them. I'll make them like, look cooler because they're, they're, you know. But when I did them, I thought, oh, hand tattoos are fine, they're fine. Then I got that done. <laughs> stick and pokes, I personally think stick and pokes are great they are really good like I love doing stick and pokes but I wouldn't recommend doing them unless you know how to do them first because I have a few on me I'm not that bothered by my body at all I know I can easily get a tattoo over it but for some people that might go a little, little bit too deep or too thick on the lines you may not be able to get that overdone and if you want it removed in the future it's going to be a ball ache just put it that way you don't want to go through all that just go to a professional tattooist if you're not that bothered by your body, then yeah, do it, whatever. You do you. But in the future, try go to a tie wires, you know, as you do. Okay, so I want to say my worst tattoo and my best tattoo, my favourite and my worst. My worst tattoo, I kind of want to say this one on my shoulder, and it is mainly because the lining is absolutely awful and I mean he went way too thick on the lines and then there's, the colour has just completely disappeared now and I mean come on man come on and then there was this other one the same guy did by the way I got these done illegally I sound like such a crook on this entire video wow <laughs> 
so I got my wrist tattooed and I have no idea if you'll be able to see this or not because of the camera angle this wolf yeah it might not look that bad but then the lining awful really bad and then he for some reason decided to put a snout on the wolf why would you put a snout on the on the wolf he looks like a pig so it looks like a pig cross wolf hybrid hate it so they're my worst ones worst ones my favorite ones out of all of them would be my hand even though he's a um yeah would be my hand I, I i adore this tattoo so much it's beautiful and my least my other favourite tattoo would be my neck and it's just be it's purely for the fact that it's a bat and I've always adored neck tattoos as you can tell I love bats love bats bats but it's just oh it's such a beautiful tattoo in the shade and it's just absolutely perfect so on the wings and just everything I just I just absolutely look at it look at how pretty it is but there's all my tattoos and piercings. I am pretty sure I've showed you quite a few of them. I don't really have any more else to say unless anybody wants to see any more tattoos and piercings and talk about them a bit more. Then please comment below, message me on Instagram, tag me and stuff, etc. etc. You know the drill. But anyway. This is going to be the end of this because it's a pretty long video and because I have a lot of tattoos and piercings, it, I knew it was going to be a long video anyway. But thank you all very much for watching and I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and don't forget to subscribe. Please share the video. Try and get me out there a little bit, please. <laughs> thank you so much.